so guys in this video i'll be doing my favorite product of 2019 all the products i've used and i loved one thing about me once i find something that i like i'm sticking to it so the first thing i'm going to go with is with this palette from nyx it has all the colors i need bear in mind i don't do a lot of eyeshadow like that like I, my eyeshadow game is just zero it's two out of ten so this palette i've got all the colors i need basically i've got the browns i've got the nudes i've got a bit of color in there i've got a bit of matte um shades in there i've got a bit of shimmer shades in there and let me open it for you guys so you can see i've used a lot of them well not a lot but i've used like mostly the browns and the copper color but this palette is so gorgeous like i love it so much i don't really try colors in my eyeshadow because i don't know like I just, i'm just weird because i just feel like i would look like a clown but i'm gonna start trying colors with my eyeshadow the next thing i'm gonna go with is another palette from revolution oh sorry this palette is called there's no even name on it but it's sbisp01 that's what they were on it i don't know if you guys can see it guys my nails broke i did my nails on thursday was it thursday thursday or friday i got my nails done and yesterday three snapped off and i was thinking why would i have three nails broken and the other ones are there and i can't even go to my nail tech because she's fully booked and everyone is fully booked so there's no last minute things for me so i was like let me just cut all of them anyways the next product i'm gonna go with is another palette from revolution it's called reloaded new trials number two can you guys see that yeah i think you can see it but if not i'll put all the links down below shall? yeah i like it my nails are just i'm really ashamed of my nails but anyways i'll just be doing it like this another product i'm gonna talk about is this lip gloss from kiko milano if you know me you know kiko lip glosses yeah they are 10 out of 10 they are so affordable and i love them so much because they're just oh i just i don't know but there's something in them that i really really like i really really like and this is from the magical holiday final lip locker collection and it is in shade three it's called rosetto i don't know that's italian me i'm spanish <laughs> this is how it looks like i love it this is another lip gloss from kiko milano this is from the 3d hydra lip gloss and this is in the shade Eesh. it's rubbed off but it's the pinky one with um the glossy thing in it it's like this let me swatch it for you it's this one here the second one this one here that's it i just put it on top like just to give it like a bit of shimmer and a bit of color so another one is another lip gloss again oh, it's called unlimited double touch i don't know if you guys can see it but yeah that's it and this is in the shade 102 this is basically i the way i use it is i use a lip uh brown lip liner around to line my lips then i put this in the center like this and after it gets dried I use the lip gloss to, to just spray it up. Another lip gloss is this. Oh, this one is Holy Grail. I'm telling you, if you don't have this lip gloss here, you're missing out. You're missing out. This lip gloss, sometimes I don't even use the lip liner with it and I put it on and I'm out of the door. It looks fine. Okay, like it's not gonna look ashy on you or anything like that. It looks perfect. So this is the 3D Hydro lip gloss as well, and it's in the shade 19. And that's like my everyday lip gloss, actually. So I got this one as well from 3D Hydro lip gloss collection again, and this is in the shade 17. This one is like a mauve shimmer shade. This is what it looks like swatched here. It's like a rosy thing, but it's so pretty as well. 
the last lip gloss yeah the last lip gloss i'm going to show you guys is this one from kiko as well from the 3d hydra collection as well and it's in the shade 18 it is like a golden brownish thing with shimmer in it this is so pretty it is so pretty it says this one here this one here can you guys see it it is so pretty like so 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 nice so the next product i'm going to show you guys is this kiko milano mascara this is my all-time favorite whenever i go to kiko this is what i get always i don't switch as i said before once i find something that works for me i am sticking to it unless it's discontinued and i have to look for another alternative yeah i'm sticking to it this is the unmeasurable length fibers extension effect mascara and it's in the shade black i guess they have other colors as well that's why they put in the shade number look this is the next product i'm gonna show you guys this is my go-to foundation this is the nyx total control drop foundation in the shade mocha and i love it this foundation whenever i wear it yeah i don't feel like i'll have makeup on that's what you want like i have this milani foundation yeah the conceal and something something yeah whenever i use it i just feel like my face is heavy like my face is cakey so i stopped using it and ever since i found this one yeah i've never went back to any other foundation i'm really sorry like i don't know if you guys know any lightweight foundation yeah but gives you full coverage or is medium to full coverage comment down below and let me know please because i want a new thing but this one i use it summer i use it winter i use it autumn and it works perfectly for me and yeah like i just use two drops i didn't use foundation on my forehead and since i stopped using foundation on my forehead i just saw the difference in it and the aspect of when i use foundation i just feel like it gives me a natural look as well so this is where i focus on this is this part here is what i focus on mostly what i do on my forehead is i do face powder for mac and this is the um pro <laughs> I don't know why I did that face, but yeah. Pro Langwear powder in dark deep. This is what it looks like. It's hitting the pan already, but this is the holy grail. All deep, but goody. This is what I used to just put on my forehead, and that's what I do. The next product I'll be talking about oh, is another product from Kiko. It's uh, an eyeshadow, actually, from Kiko. I use it for highlighting this is what i'm wearing right now please tell me i'm not glowing please tell me i am not glowing right now this eyeshadow yeah it is so pigmented i love it so much it is just a bomb that calm trust me what a little goes a long way you don't want to put too much because even though you're going to be looking like a a golden ball and i i know we want to glow we want to glow but you have to mm, just just do it to jelly okay this is the glow fix i have i use the glow fix or i use um the matte one i can't remember what it's called i think it's matte so matte something yeah. so i use both of them if i run out of this one i'll get the other one and vice versa make sure your makeup just stay in place obviously me i've got oily face yeah but it lasts like it makes my makeup last up to like a certain amount of time like hours actually yeah i guarantee you that so the next product i'm going to be talking about is from kiko as well this is the kiko um full coverage concealer in the shade seven so the days i'm not wearing full face makeup let's say i'm going to work or whatever i do my brows i use this to clean my brows because me personally i don't like how um elegal phone looks under my brows it just looks a bit whitish for me so i prefer to um use this actually Ooh. i prefer to use this which is which is closer to my skin so i just use it to clean up my brows a bit and that's it and i use it from uh, for days i don't want to wear full face makeup i just use it to um to just color correct a bit and i blend it out and it looks perfect and i wear my lashes and i'm out of the and lip gloss sorry 
so that is it for makeup product so the next thing i'll be showing you guys are face product obviously my skin is not the best but um i'm working on it because um my problem areas are my cheek and my chin area that's basically where i break out the most and when i break i don't break out like that like before that like i just have like one pimple or one spot and that's it but after then it just turned into a black scar and that's what's really annoying the most like i hate it if anyone knows how i can clear up my black scars yeah from um breaking out just comment out below i heard salicylic acid is good i'm trying to get that but i haven't found it yet in her Spain. but yeah once i get it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna use it and see how it goes but for now i use what works for me and this has been working perfectly all this all what i do has been working perfectly the first thing i use is my conjac sponge i i used to use my hands to wash my face before then saw the adverts of Garnier's contract sponge here and I read reviews of it and I was like let me try it and see it's a sponge let me just try and see um so I use I don't have the Garnier one now because um you have to renew every three months so I couldn't find the Garnier one again because I think it was discontinued or something like that so I bought this one this is just like from Superdrug you can use any contract sponge it doesn't have to be Garnier one so this is the one I use it is big like the Garnier ones is um is like a cream color actually this one is black because apparently it has like activated charcoal in it i don't know how true is that but yeah this is the one i use obviously when it's wet or damp it gets puffy like this but when it is um dried it's just some slim thing like this okay so yeah that is what i use i use my wake up makeup wipes to clean my face i damp my face a bit with hot water not hot water whatever is fine for you as hot just you do use it so i damp my face and i use this to wash my face alongside i use this as well this is the guy i'm running out obviously as you can see that's how good this product is this is the garnier bio detox um cleanser gel that's it it's that's what it is called and it's quite a lot of um um natural ingredients in it it's got water it's got sugar cane cookies this thing is the bump.com you guys should check it out i'm actually i have to be up on this actually so this one i recommend it 100 and you know what when you used to wash your face you can feel that tingling feeling it's not tingling like tea tree oil or tea tree wash yeah but it is tingling it's got that you know you get what i mean Sha. so after i use that i proceed to use this so this one is the neutrogena visibly clear pink grip um ugh pink grapefruit daily scrub and it says help eliminate and prevent spots and blackheads with a fresh clean feel this one is the bomb.com obviously i'm running that as well i got this from london but i found it online on look fantastic you can order it online as well with the um cleanser i use this as well if I, do, I you know what i switch between this or this this is the garnier one like um they are scrub daily scrub as well so this one has got other ingredients in it and it says it's for um um what's it called not dry skin it's for mixed skin is it mixed skin i mean when you have like dry skin and oily skin together combination skin sorry or this is this is what this is what happens when you speak two languages or three because sometimes i just mix words in english with words in spanish and okay <laughs> so this one is got um vitamin c in it and it says it just basically close your pores and gives you that glow because of the vitamin c i guess and yeah this this one i just started using it um this week and it's been great so far and it's got salicylic acid in it and i heard salicylic acid is good for clearing scars as well so i think if i use this one with the um the ordinary salicylic acid um thing i think it'll work great and perfectly for me so the next product i'm going to talk about is the body shop range Ooh. It's the body shop range body shop range what can I mean? so this one is um from the body shop it is my tea tree skin clearing mattifying toner with purifying tea tree oil from the foothills of mount kenya suitable for 
blemished skin i think because i've got oily skin tea tree oil anything that has tea tree oil in it yeah works perfectly for me i love it it just gives me that tingly feeling you know that tingly feeling tea tree oil gives you yeah you know when you eat chew mint and you drink cold water that that's how my skin feels <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you that's how my skin feels so this one is just the bomb.com so alongside this one i use the body shop himalayan charcoal purifying glow mask and this is it i'm going to see this one is this helped me to clear up my scars to where they are today you know scars are the worst thing to have because they don't go away easily so this one helped me this is my second bottle look how it inside that's how what it looks inside i don't think it's a bit dried but if whenever you want to use it yeah you just i just use like a foundation brush i don't use anymore for my makeup i i just wet the brush and i'm and i use it to take the product out because it gets dry but this one is the bomb.com after i finish washing my face scrubbing and all that stuff i apply this onto my face and voila so after that i use this product here this is anti-imperfection night mask and it says clarifying leave on face masks with purifying tea tree oil and salicylic acid so i use this one i leave it long till it gets dry really really dry and i wash it off with warm water then after then i take this and i put this on my face for like 10 15 minutes till it gets dry actually and this comes in a jelly um in a jelly formula it is jelly actually you see I don't know if it doesn't see it that's that's the, the the way it is after i use that i go on with this um with the toner and i clean my face again and that's just it so after the toner i use my vitamin c serum bruh <laughs> Um, vitamin C. After using my vitamin C serum, I used um, lemon oil for my problem areas only. The days I don't want to use my mask, my TM body shop mask, yeah, I use this one, which is the Aztec clay. Um, it says Indian healing Aztec. I think everyone knows this. I use this and I use it with apple cider vinegar and I mix it together and I leave it on my face till it gets dried. So. If I don't want to use the body shop toner, I use this toner. This one has got um, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C and zinc. So guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys loved it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe and all of that good stuff.